so hello friends i am neeraj in this session we'll be talking about modules and packages so until now we have been working into one single file so uh, we uh, added our code into one main.go file and uh, we were working into only one single file but actually in real time or in real life so that would not be the case so rather our the moment our application grows so we uh, keep uh, our application code into uh, multiple files and multiple directories and we may need to install other different packages other different from the uh, from the repository and and so on so that way that would be uh, working into one single file that would be really really very much painful and very difficult to maintain so in order to serve that uh, to serve that purpose to suffice that problem so we use modules and packages uh, in our go application so basically if we talk about the history of uh, go modules so initially the go modules were not introduced and i remember like maybe after from the version 1.11 so go modules were introduced but before that uh, there was a limitation that uh, we need to uh, keep our uh, go files application code into the go in, inside the go path slash src directory so that was a limitation and uh, but after the go modules were introduced so we can keep our application code anywhere in our file system and uh, that will work using the modules way okay and uh, one more thing like go modules also serves as a dependency manager so like uh, if you if uh, you have understanding about the node js or a python so in node js we have a npm package manager and uh, in the package.json file so we maintain all the dependencies of uh, what our application is going to require so likewise in python also so we usually we used to install other packages using pip and uh, we keep uh, we maintain all the dependencies into a requirement.txt file using pip freeze okay so likewise we uh, we use go modules and uh, go.mod file uh, to maintain the dependencies and if we talk about our uh, packages so basically uh, like uh, packages are used to uh, like in real time uh, in real applications so our uh, our application code uh, reside into multiple files and multiple directories right so for example if we talk about uh, like uh, in web development uh, usually we follow mvc architecture so mvc stands for model view controller so in the model so every database uh, related stuff so that we keep uh, uh, that uh, we keep inside our model direct directory and uh, views go uh, all the like html files and other other front end files the view layer files so that goes inside our view directory and uh, our business core business logic so usually we keep that inside our controller directories so that way you can think of it as a like a namespace kind of thing also so in many other object oriented programming languages so we we use concept of namespace like in php so in the packages also packages uh, 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 think of it packages in a similar way so through which we can uh, maintain uh, our files into multiple different uh, 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 different directories and uh, uh, that would be a more modular structure and uh, down the line so that would be very easier to maintain and uh, enhance our and improve our uh, in to enhance maybe to enhance some functionalities or uh, that would be i mean that would be not shell so that would be a more structured and more modular approach so that would be uh, that that would be like the case okay so uh, like uh, before uh, initiating our uh, application code usually the best practice is that we need to create a our application as a module so that would that is very simple so we simply have to just dive into the to the directory and type we need to type this command go mod sorry go mod init and after that we simply have to uh, provide the name of the module uh, uh, through which uh, the, of, of this application so let's say since our directory name is go demo so let us try to give that name so go demo and hit enter and uh, it will create basically a uh, this go.mod file and here inside this file so whatever if we install other packages from the repository from the internet so that uh, that will go here and uh, it will keep track 
uh, all the stuff that this application is going to require and uh, if we distribute this code to some so to somebody else and uh, he will he would simply need to run this command go mod tidy and whatever the dependency that would be mentioned here so it will install all the dependencies uh, from this go mod dot file okay so that would be the uh, purpose of this uh, go modules and once we have the go modules so the life would be much easier and uh, let us see what we can uh, do with the stuff so for example say let us try to like uh, we will uh, see about we'll talk about the packages so for example for printing any statement so usually we do uh, you, you have seen we have been using this way fmt.println and uh, we pass the let's say hello world so here actually and uh, the moment we save it you, you may uh, see that uh, the import fmt uh, so we are actually importing a fmt package that stands for the formatter package and that is uh, that is a part of a standard library so using this package so we are and this print ln function is written inside this package and this package we are using to display this message into our console so if we run our program so go run main dot go okay maybe a typo so i will go run main dot go so we are getting this output hello world so actually basically this hello world is going to be passed into the print ln function and this print ln function is we we haven't defined that we haven't written that function so that function is already written into fmt package and this fmt package we have a, we have already imported so this is how this is a, this is this is the packaging system and you might have noticed that uh, you have been seeing that uh, uh, that uh, any main, the main function was part of this package main so by the way like any uh, in go so every single file that uh, must be a part of any package so usually the main function the main package and the main function is the entry point so where our application our program enters and from the main function so we 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 uh, we keep on calling other functions and other packages so we can so let let us try to uh, create our own packages and uh, we will see how we can create and how we can use the packages so that would be very simple so let us create a directory here for so for example say uh, we are going to create a directory maybe a lib directory and by default uh, this is a convention that whatever your directory name so usually the name of the package should be uh, should match with the directory name so inside our lib lib directory let us try to create a file so maybe we will say that uh, lib func dot go and uh, this since uh, since we are into our this lib func go dot go file and that is inside our lib directory so usually so we will start with the package lib and that will identify that will uh, that will make uh, this this the this uh, uh, lib dot whatever code we are going to write into that one so that would be a part of this lib package okay so here let's say we are going to create a function very very simple function and that function is let's say greet so this function will will, will greet the user so it is not going to to uh, accept any argument and here we will say fmt dot print ln and here we will say hello from lib package very simple message so we will save it and if we run it run our program so nothing is going to happen because we have to import this package and we have to use it so import a package is very easy so since we are going to import multiple packages so we can write something like this and uh, import, uh, during importing the the package so actually our module name would be used so our module name was go demo so here we will say import go demo slash lib because we are going to import the lib package and uh, here we will 
since the since our package has been imported so we will say lib dot and we can from we can access the uh, the variables and the functions defined inside that lib directory lib lib package like like this and we will save this and if we run this program again so we are going to see uh, hello from lib package as well reason being inside this this uh, greet function greet method defined inside our lib func so we have used this capital letters capital uh, capital g so that is why this is this is uh, this is the way through which we can uh, we can make a variable or a or a function to be available as a public so think of it in an object oriented languages so uh, we, there is a concept of public private protected so the moment we make this uh, capital g the the first letter is the capital so this is basically a this would be a public one and uh, that would be accessible inside other packages as well so this is so congratulations so we have uh, created our first package and we can also create a nested package as well so for example say in the inside our lib directory so we are going to create another directory and let's say we call it util and inside util we are going to have another file so let's say we will call utilfunk.go and we will again start with package and this time the name of the package would be util and here also we are going to have func and we will again say greet and uh, that would clear a very important concept so stay tuned fmt dot print ln and here we will say hello from lib slash util package we will save this and uh, if we let us let, let us also try to import our package as well so i will duplicate it out and we will say lib and our package name was util and once this has been imported so very simply we can write something like util dot great and we will save and we will run our program so here we are getting the output hello world so this hello world this is written inside the main function and we are getting the this uh, hello from lib package so this is actually basically this uh, this uh, line of, of a statement going to be executed and we are also able to uh, to ex to display this the, this util dot greet method as well and we are getting this message hello from lib util package so try to understand that uh, the the function name was the same so greet so inside the lib package also we were having a greet method function and inside the util uh, util package also we are having a greet greet function so think of it that think to, so try to think of it as, as a namespace also so package serves as a purpose of, uh, as a purpose of namespace as well so we can we can have the same on the same uh, same name across the packages without any conflict otherwise uh, if we try to let's say if we try to create uh, to have we can inside one uh, inside one, actually ins if we try to recreate the same function with the na name greet so basically that is not allowed and that will raise an error because uh, if you hover on it so basically that uh, that uh, it say that greet function was already already redeclared so we so we cannot uh, have the same function name across the in, into a one single package but uh, in uh, multi in, in uh, but uh, we can sh we can have the same function name or variable names uh, in multi in, in different packages so this is this is how so packages using packages uh, we can uh, suffice the uh, problem of the we can uh, we can use it as a namespace and uh, we can structure uh, our application code in a more modular and more man or, or, or and uh, as well as in a more maintainable way so this was all about the modules and packages and uh, i hope uh, you enjoyed this session so mostly it was a it was a theoretical one with little practical and uh, since we have already understood many things so i think like from next session so we will start writing small uh, real time problems uh, real time applications and uh, 
uh, into and uh, in that application so we will we will use whatever we have learned so far okay so stay tuned and uh, if you have anything to say so please do let me know in the comment section and uh, i'll try to answer them as soon as possible so till then take care and happy coding